new customer, about nine buildings of these now. Thank you, whoever uh, left all these units off for a month, month and a half, because you couldn't find blower motors for the units. Now I got to go around and fix all your other mistakes. So, put a blower motor unit in one yesterday, and immediately it's going off on super high head pressure. Let's just play with it and see what's going on. Uh, it's early in the morning, so, um, you know, it only runs up to about four, four and a quarter, just shy of going off on high head. Yeah. So my guess is going to be in the process of diagnosing a bad blower motor a month ago or whenever that was, the first guy or the second guy or the fourth guy or all of them saw low suction pressure. And uh, of course, that's got to be because it's low on Freon, right? No. So my suspicion is this unit is just grossly overcharged. Emphasis on the word grossly. Yeah. I'm running up and down all these stairs. Should only have to wait for this time to lay the time out. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna recover charge. Keep an eye on the suction pressure. If I know something is overcharged, I like to over recover the system, especially if you have an expansion valve. Go ahead and get the valve operating again. Take it a little low on charge and then slowly bring the unit back up to the factory spec. Just shut this high side off. I know you're far away, but you can take my word for it. Brought that head pressure down to about 280 from 500 and something. Let it run there. 10 minutes or so. You can shorten that time up. Figure out which one of these wires goes to the reversing valve. Shift the unit over into the heat mode. Allow the hot gas to flash over into the suction line. Maybe trickle down into the accumulator for a little. Let that grinding noise disappear. Let it run in the heat mode. I have to grab something. Disconnect the condenser fan lead. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. That should make the head pressure run higher, right? And it should get the liquid line hotter. I probably have a lot of liquid refrigerant in the accumulator. First time you recover it, you might get it down to 275 or 300. But if you stay here for a half an hour and watch the expansion valve fully readjust, you're gonna see that you're still way overcharged. I don't wanna stay here all day long. You don't wanna pay for somebody else to be here all day long. And honestly, there's very few people I can send over here it'll be worth leaving here that long anyway. Because Jack's working for somebody else at the moment. So yeah, it takes a couple of minutes. But you can speed that up. By shifting the valve, operating the condenser fan. Anybody who's smart sees that I just did something in backwards because I was talking instead of working. But that's okay. We're back in the cooling mode right now with no condenser fan. 
I'll defeat that little bit of liquid that I just made pretty quickly. It's no big deal. I like making mistakes. Because you just shut up and work. So we'll let that run in the cooling mode until this liquid line gets hot. Ish. I don't want it blazing hot. Keep an eye on the pressure. Make sure that doesn't get out of line. What we're trying to do is speed up the amount of time that it takes for the expansion valves to readjust. For the liquid that's in the accumulator to boil off to a decent extent. And speed up the time. We're going to do in two minutes or three minutes what could take 20 minutes or a half an hour. Starting to get a little bit of heat on that liquid line now. I didn't say it was hot. Coming up around the 350 PSI mark. That's about the most I would want the head pressure to be at if I was charged properly. What did these guys do to this before it was a bad blower motor? And how many days do I want to take to figure it out? That's what we're talking about right now. Put that condenser fan motor back on. Let's see where it settles out at. Regular breakdowns are easy. 90% of the time, something very simple. When it's not, you should be able to diagnose the problem in a reasonable amount of time. But when you've had a lot of other hands on something and it hasn't worked right since, and now you're the person who's supposed to make it right, you want to come back here five times because this happened and that happened, run it through all of its paces. See what's wrong with it. In this case, I'm making an uh, educated guess that before somebody figured out the blower motor wasn't running, they saw a low suction pressure and they just added Freon. So we're in the middle of taking that Freon back out. I wanna take this thing low on charge and see where it's running. Make sure that my expansion valve is operating properly. Bring it back up to a proper charge. We'll do that heat flip one more time. The right way this time. Shift the valve. What a pain. I didn't bring a screwdriver up. I could short out that five minute time delay real quick. Pop, get this thing right back on again. No, I'm not going to film the whole five minutes. Basically, it's going to come back on. It's going to be running in the heat mode because the valve is switched now. Probably the person downstairs turned the thermostat up or it actually got down to 68 in the apartment which is where it was set at, and it cycled itself off. In the middle of what I'm doing, even though you tell people ahead of time, don't touch anything, don't be surprised. They turn it off right in the middle of what you're doing. So we're going to start it back up. It's going to run in the heat mode because the reverse valve's disconnected. We're going to let some heat build on the liquid line. Or no. Yeah, see? It's easier to do it than to say it. I remember when I was trying to teach the girls how to throw a ball when they were little, first two girls. And I was going like this. Or, or maybe I was going like this. I forget, I was stepping, I was, whoo. But then I was like, wait a minute. And I said, I was like, oh, okay, I got it. The first two throws, I, I knew something was wrong. 
It's different explaining something than doing it. Should be back on. But you get it. You're gonna have to take the thing low on charge. It helps to switch the reverse and valve, run it into heat mode, get the refrigerant flowing both ways. Gives a chance for some of that hot gas to go over into the accumulator and boil some of that liquid off. And uh, then we're gonna put it back into cooling mode where we're gonna disconnect the condenser fan so that we build some head pressure and some heat in the condenser. We might do that twice. It's gonna be inside of about three minutes, not a half an hour. If you just wanna take charge out and wait for everything to adjust, you're gonna sit here for a half an hour or more where you can really have a lot of confidence in what the charge is. So, that's that. Okay, we're gonna have to go back downstairs and turn this on, I believe. Oh, there we go. Man, it's not the kind of top five minutes I wanna waste. It's not how I wanna spend five minutes. Always bring a screwdriver with you so you can short out the time delay. Is he letting you play with these things much? No. In the heat mode, I can feel all that cold from the evaporator coming up here. I can feel all that cold coming up on that liquid line after it was running in the cooling mode. When this starts to warm up a little bit, I know I'm actually doing some heating. I'm getting a little bit of warmth on the sensing bulb for the expansion valve that's downstairs. Getting a little bit of warmth on here now. Running in the heat mode. Right up around 300 PSI on the head. Suction in the range of where it needs to be. It's not really showing an expansion valve problem. Put it back in the cooling mode. Re-energize the reversing valve. If you don't want to do it up in there, you can do it right here. Orange wire. You know which one it is. You know what to do with it. Cooling mode. Turn off the condenser fan. Allow some heat and pressure to build in the condenser. I didn't say hot. And I didn't say high pressure. As I'm going past 350 PSI, and I'm feeling a little bit of warmth starting to build here. I'm gonna take her just a hair past that. It's where it was running before we came. Re-energize the condenser fan. And just let it level out for a minute or two. This charge is pretty close. If I wasn't doing this, I'd be done already. So pay attention. <laughs> Just want to see where that head pressure builds up to. Discharge, superheat. What is that? Well, that's a good way to charge things. This chart is going to make you overcharge the unit. 